What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we are going to be making a flapjack old fashioned. We are doing our, we are continuing, and we've taken a little bit of a break, but today we're gonna to continue our deep dive on Cara Newman's book, Night, uh, Nightcaps, 40 Cocktails to Close Out in the Evening. And uh, I wasn't able to find any creation notes on this. I'm not sure if there's like a specific bartender attached to this drink, but it seemed pretty interesting, so I thought we could get into it. And, I also committed to doing a whole bunch of different styles of old fashions. So this is going to be one more of those styles of old fashions. So the first thing we're going to do is just a few dashes of Angostura bitters. And then we're going to do a quarter ounce of maple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of Coca de Torino, which I got to say that if we're building this three quarters of an ounce quarter, and then two main spirit. This is actually closer to a Manhattan variation served on the rocks with the sweet vermouth and everything, but served on the rocks, so I'm gonna let it go. The other thing that I thought was kind of interesting was that somebody commented recently, I can't remember who commented on the old fashioned, uh, one of the, old, uh, I think it was the, the original old fashioned video that I did. They said, oh, I wanna see more of these lazy man old fashioned um, uh, variations that you're doing, and it's like, Lazy man, so I'm assuming that that person meant that the reason why I'm being lazy is because I'm not building it in a stirring glass and then pouring it over ice. Now I know lots of huge bartenders like Jeffrey Morgenthaler and Jim Meehan and big exciting names build it in a stirring glass and then pour it over ice. And it has been imparted to me that some people feel like that looks better or it looks more high end, but for me it's just like I just can't see the sense in like building something in a stirring glass with ice in it stirring it to chill it down, and then pouring it over ice. Why not just build it all in a glass? Now, Marius, my partner in crime, uh, he said, well, if you're building it and you're missing an extra step, then isn't that lazy? I don't know. I kind of see like it's efficient, but I guess what's the difference between laziness and efficiency? Is laziness the father or mother or genesis of efficiency? That's a question that you guys all ponder when you're drinking this drink. The last thing we're gonna do, my friends, is two ounces, now that my aside is done, of aged rum. I'm gonna be doing this lovely seven-year Havana Club because I have it and I love it. But if you wanna use Bacardi 8 or any other aged rum, I don't know. Um, different aged rums are going to taste differently. If you do a Jamaican-style rum, it's gonna be a little more funky. Um, I really like my uh, Havana Club Cuban rum. So that's what we're doing. But hey, if you want to use Appleton 12, don't let me stop you. And then we're going to, this is going to look a little bit, it's going to displace a lot. So I'm going to do a little chip down on this with an ice pick. And be careful if you're using an ice pick not to stab yourself in the hand because it hurts. Trust me, I know. And then we're just going to stir it, chill it down, and combine the ingredients. That look properly combined. It's starting to get chilled. That's pretty good. All right. And then star anise for our garnish. Ooh, star anise I've never used, evidently. And there you have it, my friends. I want to put this in a place that it doesn't fall into it when I drink. Yeah, whatever. Put it on the side like that. There you have it, my friends, the Flapjack Old Fashioned. Let's see if it tastes like a Flapjack. Yeah, the rum and the maple syrup is really good, and the Angostura bitters provides a little spice. I like it. And there you have it, my friends, the Flapjack Old Fashioned. 